In our last video, we talked a bit about compassion, and now I want to talk a bit about clarity. And I kind of jokingly say that this is like Marie Kondo, but for your computer. One thing that's really hard to do that I would encourage you to do anyway is to take an approach of simplicity. And this could be in presentations, this could be in course materials, this could be in the course itself. Very often we end up with almost too much information. And I would encourage you to do whatever you can to remove the superfluous. That keeps you from overwhelming your audience with too much at once, and it's really going to be contextual depending on the medium. For example, in a presentation, I try not to put too much text on my slides because I found that it's really overwhelming for my audiences. One thing I do when I'm using Moodle to teach a course is I change the course format so that only one topic is visible to learners at a time. Now they can still navigate to other topics, but when they open up the course, they're just looking at one topic at a time instead of everything in the course all at once. This prevents my learners from being too overwhelmed by too much information, which is especially helpful for those invisible impairments like anxiety or ADHD. Now, clarity can take the form of cues, and these cues could be audible, they could be visual, they could be text-based. Now, one thing I've seen in a presentation that's a great example of this sort of a cue is uh, just something like this, where the presenter included a bar across the top with some triangles built in to indicate arrows pointing forward. And each block within that bar had a different heading for where they were in the presentation, and it would change which block was highlighted based off of where they were. And I thought, you know, that's a really clever solution because it's relatively unobtrusive, but it's enough of a cue that lets you know where you actually are in the presentation, but also gives a summary reminder of where we've just been and a quick preview of where we're going next. I think clarity can also show up in directions. And when it comes to directions, I actually like having a twofold approach. One where it's just the highlights at the beginning and the second part that has fuller, richer detail for the learners who might be feeling a little bit more unsteady about the information that they've been given. So what I might include at the top, if I were meeting with a student in person, is just a quick bulleted list of where we're meeting, what my expectations are for time, and what we'll be talking about. However, recognizing that some of my students are anxious or do have ADHD or do just want more information because they're feeling a little nervous, one thing that I can do to help ease that burden a bit is provide them with more descriptive information for this meeting. So at the top, I have the bulleted list. They don't need to read past this if they don't want to, but I can include significantly more information about how to actually reach the office itself. Now, this will depend on which medium that you're using, whether or not you need more context and what that context actually looks like. But this sense of clarity can be really helpful to add in some extra detail in ways that aren't overwhelming. And by the way, I would be remiss to say that if you're giving a student instructions for how to meet you in person, be sure to tell them where the elevator is. So that's a bit about clarity. In the next video, we'll talk about our final concept, which is consistency.